<laughs> Look at that! <laughs> oh my god. For a second I thought it was a horse's head. Hello Terraria Enthusiasts! My name is James and welcome back to the Mega Mod Pack! So we start today's episode off a very classic location and this is actually where we had our original spawn. And we're starting here today because I actually went ahead and did some proper building. I say proper, it, it doesn't look that proper because it's my building skills and my building skills are, uh, are not that great. But I left behind the massive NPC hotel and I probably will keep adding to it because it is of course... <laughs> look at that! <laughs> oh my god. For a second I thought it was a horse's head. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that there because it's got a lot of uh, it's got a lot of NPCs in it. Oh my god, that completely threw me off. Oh, I just heard the human quack as well. I just remembered something. I meant to talk to one of these guys about actually upgrading some tools, and it might actually be you. Huh? No, it's not you. Anyway, don't worry about that. Let's actually go and take a look at some of the things I built earlier. Uh, I, <laughs> I haven't done any preparation for anything else in today's episode, but I built. And that's 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 a rare sight. All right, let's let's head over. So you guys obviously know we had two buildings in this world. We had the NPC hotel, and we also had the pyramid. I think you guys are going to be uh, a little bit shocked, right? Okay, so as we cross over into the hallowed, you know, it's a classic location. We get this little hut here that's already man-made, and then I've redone the pyramid to be pearl sand. And I just realised I actually haven't smoothed it over. <laughs> I didn't smooth it over. That's that's something I've got to do. Yeah, I completely redesigned it all and I actually used an item that you can get as part of the Thorium mod that's called the Happy Housing Tool or something like that. It's like a little circly thing that you place down and it means that you don't need to have any furniture or light sources. And they're actually pretty cheap once you get into hard mode. They're just a few souls of light and a few souls of night and you get a bunch of them. And that's what I did. I literally just made an absolute bunch of them. Uh, and there it is. <laughs> There's my top-down pyramid. Uh, I haven't built access to these NPCs because, you know, I didn't think I needed to. And that's it. I've, I've redone it so that it's all nice and sparkly. Because, obviously, this became hallowed, so we needed to, to sort that out. And then, I also built another NPC factory, which goes really, really deep. Uh, so that we don't have to kind of see it all the time. Once again, these use those special items. It should be around here somewhere. Just There it is. That's it. It's an invisible item. And these will become NPC homes over time. Now, it's just a way of not actually, like, adding furniture and stuff. Because I'm, like, the most uninventive person in the world when it comes to decor. Uh, and then this! The pyramid! We got a comment from the creator of the juice mod yesterday recommending this. I already had this plan, but, uh, I was lazy. But I finally decided to do it. And I actually added a bunch of different rooms to it. And each one of these rooms actually works. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... And then I pick a 13th one on the bottom. So 13 rooms in one giant cactus. I know it's not the best looking cactus in the world. But I am very proud of it. And it does fit the theme for sure. And that's it. That's all the that's all the building I've done. I hope that was a, a great payoff. Uh, I really should build uh, access to some of these NPCs. But for now, I, I think I'll be alright. So, let's actually get working on some bosses again. Because we died yesterday to Infernon. Because he actually decided to spawn in the lava for the second phase. So I'm going to need to make another pain caller. I might actually be able to make one. I might not. There we go. Right, okay. That's what I always love to see. And then after we do Infernon, we actually have to go back and do Cryogen. Cryogen needs to be done in the ice biome. And then I think after I've done Cryogen, what I'm going to do is stop using this amazing weapon. Because it is amazing, and it's probably too amazing, and it needs a little bit of rebalancing. And that's fine, because it's a legendary weapon, and you've got to rebalance mods around mods, and, and that gets confusing, but I will probably stop using it. Right, I got one comment from a lot of you. A lot of you commented this. Uh, sp uh, farm Cosnix, because it gives you a mount that you can use later on. Uh, so I will do that. I will, if I can make a void lens right now. Can I make a void lens? I can't make a void lens. If I could just make a void lens, I would actually, um, I would farm it. Let's have a little look. Okay, what do you need? Oh, you need more souls of night and souls of light. Yeah, I absolutely blasted through them today. Uh, so that's something I could do. Maybe I'll do that off camera then, considering it's a little bit harder to get. 
So I think we should just go down into hell, go and uh, go and fight this boss, and then we need to go to the underground ice biome to actually go get some core of helium. Those are the little fragments that drop from calamity, or, or it's like a calamity change, but it happens during the uh, the hard mode and in the ice biome. So today's video, I'm recording it a little bit later than I usually would. And there's good reason for that. I actually stayed up to watch the E3 conference for Microsoft. I've been trying to like get more involved in E3 this year. Usually I just like watch a montage of everything that happens afterwards, like all the little five minute clips or whatever. Uh, but I decided to watch a whole conference and I thought it was all right. I don't actually own an Xbox. Every time I need to make a video on an Xbox, I just borrow one because uh, I don't own one. So I liked it. I thought it was okay. It wasn't too bad. Right, I'm going to get rid of some of the floor this time so that we can actually uh, fight this thing. And then I'm going to make some platforms if I can. We'll see if I'm able to in a second. Okay, let's see. Okay, I can make dirt platforms. These are what I was going to show you guys yesterday. These are the bomb.com. And it's actually a really good place to actually uh, check them out. But let me kill off these slimes so that the lava actually goes into the lava. There we go. Oh, God. Right. Okay. So, this is what they do. They place rather fast. So, if I was to put one there. Okay. Watch this. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. The lava absolutely bugged them out. Can I place them there? Or has that lava got to disappear? Or... Okay. We're placing on top then. Right. Let's kill off that little bat. Okay. Watch this. If I run along, they they actually uh, place at the same speed as running, which is great because not a lot of, uh, not a lot of things in Terraria actually do that. Okay, buff up. Uh, I've got to put the cactuses back on. I had to turn them off while I was building because they kept getting in the way. So that's probably why I actually, uh, well, probably why I've not been doing so well today because I didn't have my cactuses. Right. Okay. Let's see. Where is it? <laughs> Where's the thing I made? Oh, it's here. Okay. Let's begin. If I remember correctly, this wasn't too bad of a boss, so it also comes with its own mount. But I've just got to make sure it doesn't actually spawn in the lava again. That's the goal. So, yeah, I watched the whole E3 conference for Microsoft. And I'll tell you what I'm excited about. Uh, I'm excited about Cuphead DLC. Uh, I know I didn't finish my Let's Play here on Chippy's Couch. Because I decided to start a Terraria one instead. I still haven't finished Cup Cuphead yet. I, I literally played whatever I played in my Let's Play. But uh, Cuphead DLC sounds really cool. Because I really liked the game when I was playing it. I think, yeah, DLC sounds cool for it. And then I was also excited for a game where you look like a fox and it kind of it looks like it plays like a old school Legend of Zelda. So that one looked really good for me. So I'll be excited to check that one out when it eventually comes out. I, I don't know what it was called. It might have been called like, um, God, I feel like I the name's on the tip of my tongue, but I don't think it really matters. Maybe you guys will actually know and you can comment it down below, but I thought that was really cool. Uh, and then other than that, I thought there was a new Forza game. I don't like racing games. But this Forza game is actually set in Britain, and you're just driving around English roads and stuff. Oh my god, we died. Right, I'm going to cut back to this exact point, because I don't want to fight this boss another time. I just realized the head kind of looks like a weird spider. The thing that freaks me out about spiders is all of the eyes. Makes me really uncomfortable. Too many eyes. No. Okay, I'm going to remember not to die this time. Let's see how far I can make it. It's actually been quite a while uh, since I actually just died in the last clip. I spent a while getting souls and stuff like that. Uh, so I have no idea what I was talking about. Probably, um, oh, my microphone just really squeaked then. Um, no, I was probably talking about like Microsoft and, uh, and that game that's a Fox Zelda. Okay, <laughs> I can't remember. But that's all right. We, uh, we did it. So I'm going to heal up. So let's open this up. So we got a treasure bag. Bam. Okay, we got a new yo-yo called the Eye of Inferno. Hits foes combust with successful hits, increasing the power of the debuff. Okay, also shoots out a spiky ball that inflicts broken armor. And this is called Uncle Carius's Fiery Lash, equippedable. Nearby enemies are engulfed by fire, increases critical strike chance by 6%. Oh, so it's, a, it's an actual accessory. I kind of wasn't expecting it to be an accessory. I kind of thought it'd be more like a, uh, a pet. I don't know why. Uh, I also got some of these, which are shards. So let's put these into here. So these make new types of boots, like the flare treads. Ooh, very nice. Uh, and you can also make some other stuff, like some armor in that. 
that's kind of cool. Maybe I'll check that out. I kind of want to go for a, uh, a mage yo-yo setup at some point. I feel like that'd be really cool because there is a mage yo-yo. But I digress. So we actually have a brand new NPC to meet. You may have seen him lurking in the background. That's right. We finally, finally have Cactus Man. And he looks just like the one from the 1.2 spoiler. It's so nice for you to have built a house for me. You're welcome. What do you sell? Cactus juice. Consumable. Ill quencher. Nothing quenchier. It's the quenchiest. Ooh. I don't know what buff it does, though. It gives you high on cactus juice. Minus 5 defense, but increases damage by 25%. Alright, that's that's a little bit bad. <laughs> I, I probably can't use that. That's a little bit... <coughs> That's a little bit crazy. Succulent cactus meal. It summons the alpha cactus worm. <clears throat> All right. Oh, and these give you different different weathers. Okay, that's kind of cool. And the succulent throw does not work on enemies immune to knockback. All right, that's kind of cool. Not bad, not bad. Uh, I think the best thing is probably this succulent cactus meal. Hmm, the succulent cactus meal. Okay, cool. So there you go. There's the cactus man that we have finally finally found him right let's check out the cryo key now uh cryo key i can i can make it so i'll grab one of those bad boys and we'll get to work on cryogen and then after that i'm not exactly sure what i need to do next let's let's open this up and take a whoa oh my character's being moved by the potion hey look at that okay that's not so bad I, it needed a debuff and that explains it, so, right? So we've got Cryogen. Uh, the twins are next. Oh, so like literally onto the mechanical bosses. Okay. And Furnace. That's the that's the one before we did hard mode. All right. Okay. Cool. Cool. Pretty cool. Uh, buff debuff. I don't know what it is. It's it's good. It's not bad. I mean, it's, it gives you a hell of a lot of uh, damage increase. Doesn't seem like too bad of a buff. Like at the minute, like I'm in full control of my character. If I stop him. I feel like the momentum carries on. Is that what it is? Is it based on momentum? So if I just leave it, I'm not touching my uh, my controller, well, my keyboard right now. Huh, cool. All right. Well, I've actually got a very small arena set up in the ice biome. And I'm quite, I'm quite excited to see if we can actually do this. Uh, I presume that this crazy weapon is going to absolutely tear through Cryogen. I'm not going to lie. But uh, it'll be cool to do a Calamity boss in hard mode because Cryogen is, is, is a cool boss. It's definitely quite cool. I still can't remember the name of... Oh, I just remembered it. I just remembered it. It's called Tunic. There you go. It's called Tunic. I was like, it's some kind of belt, some kind of like thing that you wear. Yeah, it's called Tunic. Okay, here's Cryogen, boys. Okay, so I don't exactly... I was going to say, I was going to say, I don't exactly know how this works in, uh, in expert mode. The last time I did this, we was in death mode, and it was, uh, it wasn't too bad, actually. I remember it in death mode. It was, it was all right. But then again, I didn't really struggle with too much when I was in death mode. Not really. Other, other than Supreme Calamitous, of course. Everything else was pretty chill. I'm going to use this for a little bit. This just looks gorgeous, by the way. Like, it's just worth using it just because this weapon looks amazing. Oh, my God. You've frozen me. Get out of here, cryogen. Okay, we're, uh, we're about one third of the way through. Not bad. Not bad. I think we'd do a little bit more damage if we got closer. Problem is, I don't want to take it out of biome. And as you can see, it's kind of going out of biome when it gets rid of its health bar. Okay, this is close. This is as close as I wanted. Yeah, that's better. Because then all of the actual uh, shots actually begin to hit the enemy. Yeah, this is a this is not bad. I feel like this weapon kind of dominates everything, so I'm definitely going to stop using it after this next boss. When we go into the twins, we'll have to use something a little bit different. Maybe we'll give ourselves a bit of a challenge for the next boss. I, I feel like I could do it for challenge, to be honest. So let's see this final part of the fight. Okay, Cryogen, <laughs> and that's it. That's it. The ice caves are crackling with frigid energy. Ooh, very nice. Frigid enemy. Energy. <laughs> I'm very tired. Yeah, staying up late for a, uh, an E3 conference is probably a bad idea. Uh, but my sleeping pattern has been absolutely destroyed since I got back from America. Because I got back from America with a chest infection. And so I used to take these pills to help with the chest infection. 
And then they would make me nap most of the day because they kind of like knock you out a little bit. And um, and then now my sleeping pattern is knackered. I need to really sort it out. Really, really do. Okay, we got a frost core, a soul of cryogen. Uh, the magic of the ancient ice castle is yours. Counts as wings. Descent acceleration is 1.35. Ooh, and it gives you 10% increased damage to all. Uh, it gets some frigid bars and a staff. That's kind of cool. Maybe we'll use one of these uh, awesome weapons for the next fight. What about this one? This one would be pretty interesting because it doesn't have a very wide uh, arc to it. Let's see. We have to get out of here a little bit. Uh, these are always the these are always the enemies that we're testing on now. Have you guys noticed? It's not bad. It's not bad. I think I could use that to defeat the twins. It'd be a little bit hard. How far does it actually go? Oh, it's good. It's just got a... It just tapers off towards the end. Okay. Not bad. Maybe I'll use this tomorrow then. Right, so that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Thank you all for watching. Uh, if you did actually catch a little bit of E3, please let me know what your favorite games are down below. And I do actually have a question for most of you guys. Uh, if you have a summer break coming up, like if you've got like a school half term or like, I don't know what it's called all around the world, please let me know exactly when you have a break in the comment section down below because then I can use this try and figure out when everybody's got some time off and I'll actually start putting a bit more uh, a bit bit more uploads out so maybe I'll do like two a day on Chibi's couch there won't be like two of these a day but uh, maybe I'll include something else just for a little bit of variety or whatever but I only want to do it when I know that you guys have plenty of free time right thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one peace